Yeah, I thought I had a bottle of yikes. <laughs> 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 JP with the I'm Not Sober Drink Review and today I'm doing it a little different. I'm going to go ahead and stand behind the bar and I want to tell you today on the docket I picked up this nice one right here. It's the Bamboo Rum. So I got to go ahead and give this a shot, a try. You know what I'm saying? So like always we're going to shot it and then we're going to taste it on ice. If y'all don't know about the Bamboo, <clears throat> excuse me, if you don't know about the Bamboo, this is a uh, Affiliated with Rick Ross, the rum. So, um, I think I seen Lil Wayne representing, but I think he did it on behalf of Ricky Rose. And we're just gonna see what it's about. Now, let's get into the bottle, man. The bottle is dope. It's, um, got a nice X on it. And it kind of reminds me of like that Douce stuff that, uh, um, Jay Z do. It has the X as the label. I mean, the, uh, the iron as the label. And it has the bamboo, uh, basically like embossed on top of the glass. And, Actually, the label is not paper at all. It's like it's like they did real craft work to actually get this done. So, without further ado, I'm gonna read a little bit about it. It's authentic Caribbean legend bamboo has uh, masterfully blended hand 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 blended rums from the islands of the natives with spices uh, across the West Indies. Okay, okay. So, we got a little map on the back of where it's from, and it says uh, what it is. 35% alcohol by volume. Ooh, I'm, I normally look for 40. So, I expect this to be really, really sweet and good. Let me see if I can get into it. Uh, now, off rip, I love the way the bottle is built. I love the cork on the top. And they still have that little X factor right there that's, that it got going on. So, so, the theme is pretty good. But, I'll tell you one thing. This thing is hard to get open. Now that is a, is a minus. I don't know how I'm gonna get in here. All right. Sheesh. Now, yo, that was hard to that was hard to get open. I used to, I had to use my teeth and everything. I don't know if I like that at all, but cork style is dope. Bottle is dope, but just at least you know ain't nobody popping your bottle and ain't loosely hard to get in. It's like a wine cork, so I guess they had to push it down real hard. Let's get a little shot going and then I'll sit this over here on a little ice. Just to let that just to let that breathe over there. Push that back. I ain't pushing that far down. Oh my goodness, it's got like a lot of vanilla vanilla smell. Smells really sweet. I smell a little bit of spices on it, you know. Let me see. Ooh, vanilla, banana. Mm. Getting some uh, sweetness, sugar cane. It don't say what I'm supposed to taste on the back, but it's got a decent, uh, it's got a decent, refreshing taste. I mean, without even having it on ice, it doesn't it doesn't burn on the way down. It's a hell of a rum. Now with ice, let's see if it get a little better. I like it better on ice. I mean, this is one like on the level of a uh, Crown Royal Peach or Crown Royal Apple type drink. It's 35% alcohol by volume, but you can sip on this all day and with ice and then catch up with you. Cause it got a, like a banana, a banana sweet flavor to it. Out of rums that I've tasted, I've tasted uh, the highest ranked rum I gave was Plantation Rum. It was like a, a level four point five. It's the Plantation XO. I'm putting this right up there with it, like a four point five, close to a five. Rick Ross did this one. I'm gonna keep this on the bar. This is a must keep. Now this is Jake P. But I'm not so with drink review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tune in for the next video. Yes, sir.